is sitting aboard Dreamtime. And Dreamtime is an amazing boat that takes us on journeys around the Gulf, the Southern Gulf Islands, along the coast, the very western coast of British Columbia. And uh, it affords us time away from the busyness of a life that we have created that originally was uh, one that was very simple and imaginary and in the flow and then reality took hold and a gallery was formed and staff and wonderful events happened but obligations and shoulds crept in. So dream time carries us away to places that allow us our imagination to become fertile once again. And I'm, I'm a firm believer that we can access a place that will be that sacred place that can, keeps us in accord, in union, in the flow of a grace, a divine, that really is where our imagination is and where all the fields of possibilities are. Dream time is a tool that we often use in the summer and um, just allowing the sea to rock us today on a kind of a, a, a very soft, misted, slightly uh, rainy day, it can carry one. Um, so really what I wanted to talk about is this idea that we are not the life that we somehow manufacture for ourselves. We are so much more and I have glimpsed that and I just wanted to share with you some of the glimpses that I've had and some of the experiences that I've had and some of the other tools that I've used besides going out on our lovely boat um, and, and what it can do entering into these realms of imagination and infinite possibilities. Um, is something that I've been very blessed with. I've been able to do my whole life quite easily. But I recognize the more I interact with people that for a lot of people it is more difficult. And uh, so I've spent a bit of time thinking about this and I just wanted to share with you what it is for me when I'm in these places, how I get there, and what it can do. Um, some of the examples of and some of the motivation for wanting to talk about this is that in my gallery I get to meet people from all over the world. My gallery is, um, is quite small. I've got my art all on all the walls and on easels all around and I, um, I have beautiful, beautiful comments from people that come in that tell me how it feels very joyous and it makes them feel really good and um, they're very enthralled and you can see this huge glow they I mean literally their eyes light they have this beautiful glow and resonance all around them and um, I, I, I love to watch this beautiful feeling that seems to come and emanate from but what is very interesting is that most of the time it's, it's snuffed out with something else that enters and that is uh, this analytical mind of, well, how did you do it? Like, what is your process? Um, what technique do you use? Is this watercolor? Is this real canvas? Is this an original? And it's so interesting because that light that was there was so genuine, so real, so uh, spontaneous, so flowing, gets clouded with questions of analyzing and intellectualizing. And uh, for many years, I would try very hard to answer questions and, and try to go back to, okay, so what was I doing here? What was the technique and all this stuff? And, and first of all, I'm not a technique artist, I'm not a schooled artist. Um, and so how I paint is not with those thoughts in mind. And so for me to put on that hat of analyzing, it, it can be quite tough, but I tried and try as best I can 
But I find what happens is that conversation goes into this place of huge um, query and more and more that initial glow is lost. And I, I find now that what I try to do is steer people back to, well, so tell me about the feeling that you have when you see this painting. And we might get back to that conversation, but really in very tiny half measures. Invariably, it's immediately another question of, well, is this pen and ink as well? So um, sometimes I have fun with, with, with people that come in the gallery and, and say, oh, you're going back to that old intellectual side. And we try to have fun, but honestly, what happens is people get really stuck there. And I suggest that perhaps this stuckness isn't just in the gallery, that maybe it's how we live our lives, that we get stuck in trying to figure things out rather than allowing a flow. So this series of videos that we're doing right now that I wanted to um, share some of my thoughts was just to share what it is that allows me to be in my flow to do the paintings that I do, um, to have had a gallery for over 20 years that has had a lot of success and I just wanted to share with you some of the flow and some of the unfoldment that has happened for me and my deepest wish is that you have uh, a, a tiny bit of this in your way, in your unique way. And uh, I really hope that this will help you with your life because I have a very, very deep, deep belief that this is where we are going as a human race, as a species. That it's not about analyzing, it's not about trying to figure out, it's about going into the energy and that divine place of who we are. And if I can share with you some of that divine place of what I feel so that it might spark that divine place in you, I think that we can really all together make this the most spectacular, the most beautiful, the most wondrous world that our imagination can believe. So follow me, journey with me, enjoy these videos, and know that we can make